Welcome back guys, thanks for joining in on another video. Shout out to all our supporters out there. Today we are looking at what is on my Android Nexus 6. So first off guys, we have the lock screen. As you see here, it's not stock lock screen. It's very uh, unique lock screen with the design and different ways to customize it. Of course, tapping on holding on the screen, you bring up these settings. And as you see here, I actually have the pattern security with the profile photo as well. Of course, I'm talking about ZUI Locker, a very awesome lock screen that has a lot of different ways to customize. Uh, starting with the wallpaper, wallpaper changes daily. You have the option, of course, to select your own wallpapers that you would like multiple, or you can choose just one like I have selected as well. Um, also, we have the theme where you can uh, download additional themes. There is only about six there right now. Then, of course, the layout of the clocks that you can also put on the lock screen. Um, very awesome, there's quite a few there to choose from. Um, last but not least, we have the security with multiple ways of securing your device. Of course, I chose the pattern with that profile photo. Next on the list, we have KLWP, which is a live wallpaper app. Pressing on this little button here uh, is going to bring up, as you see there, that animation and the applications there. That's all done with KLWP. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, KLWP takes a little bit of getting used to. It is something a little bit different, but you do have the option to add wallpapers, multiple wallpapers, different animations, icons, fonts, time, date, a whole wide variety of ways that you can customize your wallpaper. I do have other videos on the channel. Go check them out. Uh, full roundup, it's an awesome application. Once you get into it, it's awesome. Uh, next up, we have Zuper Widget Pro, a favorite application of mine, one that has to go on every single device that I have. Um, mainly, of course, hence the name Zuper Widget Pro. You create widgets and you're able to place them on your home screen and lock screen if it applies. Um, for lock screen, I suggest Widget Locker Pro. I have a very unique music player here that I downloaded free from the Play Store. Um, and of course, I create custom widgets as well. You do have hotspots enabled, so tapping this little headphone icon is going to go ahead and bring up play music it's very awesome the interface once you get into it it's not that complicated everything is pretty straightforward it's a very awesome app and you do have that little area to work in uh, next up, we have Ready Dialer and Contacts. Now, I chose this over the stock dialer. Um, again, I love material design. It has a very unique uh, concept for contacts. As you see here, just scrolling across the top, you get a card style uh, with uh, the option for dialing and straight to text message. You can simply tap on the index letters uh, to also switch between contacts, or you have the pinwheel, which is a very, very unique uh, uh, way of getting around and finding contacts. Contacts, um, which is one of the reasons why I chose Ready Dialer and Contacts. Um, going into the settings, you have the theme section where you're able to switch between the material designs from light, dark, uh, blue, green, pink, orange. So I think that's really cool being able to change the color of the dialer, um, which is why I'm going with Ready Con Dialer and Contacts uh, because I'm not in a custom ROM, I am on stock Android Lollipop. Next up, we have Textra Messaging App. Um, so instead of the Google Messenger or Google Hangouts, I've gone with Textra. Um, again, I'm in love with material design, so I do love that about it. And um, it's very cool. Now with a swipe to the right, you see the trash bin. Another swipe to the right uh, uh, while holding on the, where the trash bin is uh, appearing, you get to see how much messages are in that conversation. Swiping to the left shows the uh, dialing button, so you can just go ahead and dial directly from there as well, which is very very awesome and I like it um, you know I'm trying to go different from stock again I have the Nexus 6 so this was a good option different from uh, Google Messenger you also do have the ability to change the themes um, which is another great plus as well the app is awesome 
Next up, we have Solid Explorer. Now, many files go in and out of my device, you know, to and from between other devices and computers. And this is very, uh, uh, you know, great uh, for, you know, a lot of different reasons. Of course, you have drag and drop, you have two screens, so it's not a copy and paste thing. It's much easier to handle, of course, following material design. Uh, pressing the button, we have new folder, new file, uh, or uh, some other uh, new connections as well jumping into the settings giving this application root permissions will just send you on your way uh, for sure um, of course we do have the option to change the theme colors we also have the option to change the folder icons as well and there are some available in the play store also so very coarse landscape mode just brings this app to life able to see exactly where you're dragging and dropping it's just awesome i've, I've had this you know since it was solid explorer one then the beta and then final uh finally here as well now phoenix for android is a very awesome uh twitter client uh, of course following material design as most of the apps that i love and cover and download uh, follow material design um just simply with uh, swipes to the right and left you're able to maneuver through the different uh, columns that uh, are available to you as in the mentions the timeline the messages and activity and stuff like that it's pretty cool um very nice way to just kind of uh get in there and just you know check the tweets of course you do have a tweet counter at the top with your profile picture simply just by tapping on the tweet counter you can skip and go right to the top um, very awesome application i love it okay guys well that's gonna wrap it up hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and leave a thumbs up really appreciate it i'm your humble host picasso i'll see you in the next one peace i'm out